The first NCAA regional rankings came out this week. Mules football came in at number eight in Super Region 3, but only the top seven make the postseason, so UCM has got to win these last three games. And we'll start with the annual blackout game against 2-6 and six Central Oklahoma. Let's jump right into the highlights. There are a lot of them, but in the first quarter, they all belong to the Broncos, who have taken a 14-0 lead. So we're actually going to pick it up in the second quarter toward the beginning. The UCO QB in no way, shape, or form sees that none of his team teammates blocked Jack Cronin. Cronin comes flying in for the sack and forces a fumble. Trifinu Taylor recovers the ball at the five yard line and the Mules are in business. Garrett Fugate runs in the touchdown two plays later. PAT is blocked though. UCM trails 14 to six about three minutes in. Now toward the end of the quarter, the Mules get a big boost on this drive with a 39 yard gain from Fugate to Tyler Jones, getting UCM across midfield. Later, the ball goes to Jalen Zachary and he's untouched into the end zone. After that, the Mules down 14-13 at halftime. Third quarter, UCO trying to get a drive going, but Dylan Albertson puts a stop to that when he picks off the QB. Albertson gets 28 yards on the return. He's down at the 15-yard line. The offense follows that up with a third down score. If you get to Zachary again, 14-yard touchdown route, UCM takes its first lead of the game, 20-14. to But that doesn't last long because the Broncos score on second down on a long pass into the end zone. UCO back on top 21-20. Mules respond, working downfield 75 yards in nine plays, capped by a quarterback keeper for Fugate from the one. He crosses the goal line, and UCM takes the lead back 27-21. Eight minutes still to play in the third quarter. Next UCM drive, big gains from Kyle Eccles and Markel McMack move the Mules along. Then with three receivers lined up to his right, Fugate tosses the ball to Eccles in the end zone. 29-yard scoring route that puts UCM up by two scores. I'm going to show you this one again, though, a little slower because the ball actually bounces off the defender's legs in the air, and Eccles still makes the catch. Mules on top, 34-21. to UCO scores to start the fourth quarter, making it 34-28. Mules still leading. And a little later, UCM records a two-play drive. It starts with a 20-yard completion to Eccles. Then Fugate follows that with a 46-yard pass to Zachary and another touchdown for the Mules. Still 10 minutes left in this game, UCM leading 41-28. Ensuing drive for the Broncos, QB throws, but Albertson reads it perfectly, pops up to grab his second interception of the game. This one, he takes 51 yards back for the pick six and another mule score. Home team up now 48 to 28. UCO trying to get into the end zone again, going forward on fourth down here. Tevin Teamer and basically the whole defense chase down the quarterback. That is recorded as a sack for a loss of 17 yards. Turnover on downs, UCM gets the ball with 343 on the clock. Mules run down the clock, get a first down, then take a knee. Central Missouri picks up its fourth straight win, downing Central Oklahoma 48 to 28. We just didn't really find a groove in the first half. Me personally, I didn't play very well missed some throws that uh, should have made and then had some tough breaks in the first half and then defense got a turnover kind of sparked us got that touchdown and then second half we had a lot of momentum and then we tried to just build off that momentum and and that's exactly what we did we executed we knew we had a great game plan going in it was a matter of time that we were going to make some big plays so that's what kind of happened in the second half. The Broncos actually had more yards on offense than the Mules, 447 to 397. But UCO also had four turnovers, including three interceptions. I've been seeing on film all week that they were running slants and trying to run little out routes. And so I was sitting dead red on him. About, I had another one before that actually on a slant that I dropped. So I was, I was really looking forward to that slant. When I got it, Saw green grass, I knew we had to take it to the house. Teamer led the UCM defense big time with 14 total tackles, 11 solo. Mules football improves to 7-2 and two on the season, plays at Northeastern State in Oklahoma next weekend. For UCMAthletics.com, I'm Katie Smith.